Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. As you can see, the sun is just about going down, and I am continuing my tour of the Prestige Sur La Mer. <laughs> and I'm pretending to be able to pronounce it well. I made it kind of sound a little bit French then. I'm not sure what uh, language it is supposed to be in. I'm sure that uh, a lot of you do and think I'm an idiot for not knowing it. Uh, but anyway, this is a world that was built by someone called Danger Fip. And he's been giving me a tour around this world. And this is the third part and final part uh, of my tour. Uh, so there'll be uh, in the description a link to a playlist where you can see all of my Minecraft videos. So if you want to go and see the past two, uh, you can check them out first. And this video is going to be uh, quite short. Uh, it's going to be a lot shorter than most of my videos because uh, we have seen most of the boat. I just want to show off quickly here that uh, in between videos, I did fill a chest full of cake there. <laughs> I did completely stampy that chest to the brim. <laughs> anyway, continuing on with the tour, there's a few things uh, left to see inside the boat. And uh, then <laughs> seeing they're waiting very patiently for me. Sorry, mate. Sorry for taking so long. I'm ready. Let's go. Yes, yeah, so we're going to continue seeing uh, the rest of the things that are in the boat. And I believe there's not much to see. And then we're going to go to the top of the boat and uh, have a look up there. And he's going to set off some warning lights. And then I'm going to end the video uh, by flying over it and showing you uh, what it all looks like from the outside. And here's uh, Creeper's Mini Shop. Um, can I have a... Oh, TNT! I should have guessed. I should have guessed it would sell TNT. And gunpowder. Is this like selling stuff to creepers then? Like, do you get lots of creeper guests here? <laughs> let me let me put some cake in there. Let me just try and quickly stamp it if I can. There we go. Jolly good. And uh, what's through here? Oh, there's a sheep. Hello. Hello, sheepy. You all right in there? <laughs> Walking up and down the plants. Oh, shall I give it some wheat? Shall we see, shall we see if the sheep loves me? Uh, do I have any wheat? There we go. Do you love me, sheep? Do you love me? Oh, he loves me. Oh, a little brown sheep there. <laughs> it's funny the fact that animals just spawn anywhere where there's dirt or grass. And so, like, you get them in the most weird places, like like this plant pot. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure he's living a happy life. <laughs> he's like the mascot. He waves to all the, um... The customers and the crew as they walked past, and he he nobbles on some of the nibbles on some of the uh, mushrooms and stuff. <laughs> a anyway, we we got a cruise ship to see. What's this? Uh, w and Q bookstore. Um, oh, oh, he's he's dressed up as a tennis player for some reason. Um, oh, thank you very much. Can I can I have a book, please? Jolly good. Oh, there we go. You, you dropped a bit. Can I, do you reckon I can stamp it? Should I do an over the counter stampy? Do you reckon he'll realise? If I just go and shove some cake in there. There we go. Jolly good. I managed to stampy the bookstore. And so now, oh, there we go. He's getting back into his into his posh clothes again now. He is the captain of the ship after all. And he actually told me that probably about four people have seen this cruise ship before me. Like, as I said, he builds by himself, which is kind of crazy impressive when you see that he built this all by himself. And he said that, uh, hardly anyone's been into his world, so uh, this is this is really a proper exclusive view. Uh, certainly the first YouTuber that's been around it, and uh, it's just a few of his closer friends that uh, have had a sneak peek. And he also said that I can use it for any videos. If I ever want to do a machinima or something, I can use it as a set. And uh, yeah, he just seemed like a really nice guy for uh, allowing me to to have a look through everything that he's built. And yeah, here we go, back to the um, back to where all of the rooms are. Uh, I saw all of this in um, past videos, so uh, if you do want to see uh, in more detail some of the stuff that I'm kind of running past, there's, there's a lot to see. Uh, I recommend going back and uh, checking them out, because as I said, this video uh, is going to be shorter than my normal videos, basically because I ended the video um, a second ago, and I said to him, right, how much is there to see? And he was like, well, that, that, that's pretty much it. So I was like, oh, shouldn't have ended the video. I should have carried on recording. But I never know because I'm not speaking to them. I never I never know how much left there is to see. So I'm always doing a guessing game. And as soon as I assume I've seen everything, they normally open a door that shows a whole nother world or something. Oh, where's he going? Oh, he's flying up. Oh, is he flying up to the top up there? Oh, is that where the, the warning lights are? Right. I'm, I'm going to be a commoner, I'm going to be human, I'm going to try and jump up without falling down this time though. <laughs> it's kind of a bit tricky the way it kind of twists a bit. Right, I, I, I don't really know what this is, he said he's going to turn on the warning lights. Um, oh, is, oh, is it over there I guess? Right, okay, I'm looking, so we'll switch them on. At first I thought it was going to be something to do with these. <laughs> Dragging us all the way here up to the top of the boat to turn them on. Oh, where's, where's he going? I think I'm supposed to stay here and he's going inside to like a control area to do the warning lights. Uh, do, you re do you reckon the torches are going to switch on and off? Do you reckon that's all full of redstone? Look, I can see him there. I can see his gamer tag working his way up there. Up like that funnel thing. 
I don't know if I'm too far away. I can't really see the lights very well. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's made it right to the top. Oh, oh no, it's glowstone. I thought the torches were going to flash. Oh, it's the glowstone moving. Oh, is that the warning? Oh, what's it warning? Is there an iceberg or something? That's really weird. Let me go and let me have a little closer look. Let me go forward a bit and let me go and have a look at them. Well, what was actually happening there? It's kind of cool the way the movie like starts in the middle, then goes like out to the outside. Damn, that must take a lot of time working out that timing to make the pistons work that way. And here we go. Look, you can hear the the pistons whirring now. <laughs> yeah, so it, like opens up in the middle, then sort of goes down. Oh, that does look really cool. Let me go and have another look from up here. Then let me stand on this one. There we go. They're, they're the warning lights. So if there's any danger, I guess that goes and starts flashing and warns everyone about what's happening. Uh, sadly though, uh, we have reached the end of the tour of this cruise ship. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. I think it's absolutely amazing. He said that he wanted to have it in his own unique style and he called it prestige uh, because it's very grand and luxurious and uh, all of the rooms have loads of different types of blocks in. And I don't know, it just does feel like a really nice uh, cruise ship where a lot of wealthy people uh, would spend their holidays. And if you got any uh, cruise ships or worlds or anything uh, on Minecraft you think that would be good in one of my videos, send me a screenshot uh, to my Facebook page uh, show me what your world looks like. And yeah, if, if it looks impressive and if I think uh, people on my channel might want to see it, then I'll come check it out and do a tour uh, just like I did here. Uh, sadly though, as I said, this is the end of this video, so I want to end by thanking Danger Fit very much uh, for getting in contact with me and uh, choosing me uh, to share this world with people on YouTube. And thank you very much uh, for joining me throughout this tour and seeing the cruise ship. Uh, but I'm going to end now, like I always do in my tours, by having a flyover of the world. So I'm going to stop talking now, I'm going to play my funky music, and I'm going to have a look at what this cruise ship looks like from the outside. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye!